reduction in health definitely will help in the early game, especially at the higher elos. Um, this will make it so she doesn't just downright abuse you in lane by just dashing on you and, um, you know, using her W and taking no damage because she's just got a high health pool. So I'd like to see how much this actually helps, but it should help a little bit. Aurelia's base damage increased um, in her E by a, um, by 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30 at each respected level. Um, personally, I feel like Aurelia is a champ, especially at the high elo, that doesn't really struggle at all. So I don't necessarily get the buffs. It doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me. Um, maybe they're trying to get more lower elo players to play it, but I mean, buffing Irelia when she was doing fine just doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Uh, passive on Katarina's AP ratio has been decreased uh, by a little bit. Um, champion straight busted. I don't feel like these nerfs are really going to do a whole lot. Um, again, we'll have to see, but um, I feel like, if anything, this is a nerf towards uh, professional play where every uh, little bit of damage matters. Um, I don't really think this is going to do anything for solo queue, though. I think she's still going to be broken in solo queue, so we'll definitely have to see how that is. Now, this is an interesting one. We've got the Rost healing reduced um, across the board. I really didn't understand the gain buffs in the first place. I feel like lowering his Q cooldown by that much and then increasing the slow on his W really didn't make a whole lot of sense. So naturally, uh, Rost or Red Gain became really overpowered. Um, because he does heal for quite a bit, and now he can get his Q off every, like, two seconds now with max CDR. So, they're trying to downgrade the healing. I just don't get the, the previous buffs at all. Um, I don't think this is gonna do a ton. Um, but, you know, we'll definitely have to see. Glad Q cooldown increased. God bless, this champion is oppressive and really stupidly strong to deal with, um, especially in the early game. So I definitely think these nerfs were deserved, and I definitely think it's going to help. Um, cooldown buffs or cooldown nerfs I typically support simply because if a ability that's rather strong goes on a longer cooldown, it does give you a window for counterplay. When there's strong abilities that have little to no cooldown, it then becomes a problem. AKA Spear Shojin on Jax. Thank god that item got removed. Uh, Misfortune, her movement speed has been reduced on her W and her passive. I really don't think the movement speed per se was what was making Misfortune broken. Um, I would have liked to see some damage reduction this patch, but, uh, you know, we'll, again, we'll have to see. I don't think this is going to do anything, though. I think she's still going to be played. I think she's still going to be S tier. Um, then we have Maokai. His base mana is reduced by 2 at the start, and then his Q is going up by 10 mana per cost. Realistically, I don't think this is going to do too much. It might help a bit in the top lane, but at the same time, Maokai will generally go, uh, I think it's called Catalyst of the Aeons, the one that gives you the health and the mana, and when you take damage, you get a portion of your mana back, and when you spend mana, uh, you get some of that returned as healing. Um, I feel like Maokai's usually go mana flow band as well. So, I don't think this is going to do anything. I feel like Maokai's base damage right now is just too high. Um, and he's, you know, of course, the 
sustain is pretty high as well, but I just feel like the base damage is a little too high. Uh, Nidalee Q damage ratio increased um, by 0.3 at maximum uh, toss range at 0.5 base. Uh, Nidalee's a champion that when she's really good in the meta, uh, she's extremely frustrating to deal with as a jungler because she can counter jungle so efficiently. Uh, she can kill you. Does have a high skill cap. However, I definitely think this is going to help at the higher elos more than the lower elos. Um, definitely going to see more Nidalees this patch, which is not fun for me. Zephyr, we've got more mana restore on our E spell shield. I don't really understand where they were going for with this buff. Uh, Zephyr's a champion that I feel is kind of like Zen Zhao in a sense. Uh, that when the meta calls for it, they're very, very good at filling a role. But when the meta is not for them, they're definitely bottom tier. So I feel like Zephyr hasn't changed in so long. Don't really get the buff, but hey, you know, quality of life buffs definitely help. Uh, now the more skilled Sivers who can uh, use their E to restore some mana to help them continue to wave clear and things like that. Alright, this is the most controversial um, buffs I've ever seen. Soraka is already in S tier support, already broken. I don't know why they would do this, okay? So, if you guys don't remember, Soraka top used to be a problem, and the problem was she did so much damage, healed so much, and in the top lane, mostly melee champions are played, and melee champions cannot get on Soraka. Um, her EQ slows the combination, so she'll drop her E, like on top of her Q or herself, uh, you'll be slowed. And then the E will snare you then. All the while, she's healing way more damage than you can put out. So not only did they rebuff Soraka top, um, which is just absolute cancer. I don't know why they do this. They also increased the health cost reduction on her W, so they improved that. I mean, she is just going to be extremely frustrating to deal with extremely extremely frustrating to deal with pick up soraka get your free elo honestly uh derek health growth stat reduced by five base armor uh reduced on his bastion um the problem with Derek is when you see derek uh he's gonna be played with ye he's gonna be played with ye they're gonna do the boosting strat it's gonna be obnoxious so this might help a little bit, but at the same time, I feel like you've just got to rework Derek, or really actually nerf Master Yi. Like, I don't know, I just feel like personally this doesn't solve anything. Uh, then we've got Twisted Fate, attack damage increased to 52, armor increased to 21, quality of life uh, round out the, the stat chart so it looks pretty. Um, but definitely a big change is his ultimate destiny has been reduced from 150 mana to 100 mana. And here's why it's a big deal. So, um, the thing about Twisted Fate, uh, especially in the higher elos, he'd hard shove, um, use his blue cards to try and keep his mana up. Then he would gank uh, with his R, uh, get a kill or an assist, whatever. But then most of the time, Twisted Fate would just have to back because he'd be oom. Now, what this allows Twisted Fate players to do, they can gank, they can shove out the wave effectively and quickly, maybe get turret platings, and then get back to their own lane. Um, definitely going to be a big deal for Twisted Fate mains. Having that, uh, that mana cost reduced, it's definitely going to help quite a bit. <sighs> Boys, I don't even want to look at it. Um, as you know uh, from my jungle tier list video, Udyr is a terrible champion right now, just absolutely terrible. My favorite champion in the game, the champion that made me fall in love with the game, and he's just so bad. Um, he doesn't do damage into the later stages of the game. 
he literally just becomes a split pusher and he's not even that great at it um phoenix is absolutely worthless and realistically there's just too much movement speed in the game right now so the one his one redeeming quality being that he runs really fast uh really isn't that fast because everybody is moving really fast now so what did riot decide to do well let's clean up some of the stats health um barely increased mana barely increased at all mana regen actually lowered and then they slapped five movement speed on him and said it was good it's extremely frustrating as a new deer player to see this there, there's just so many things wrong with this champion right now his kit is just so so outdated you guys it's so outdated i can't stress that enough uh, power creep has definitely caught up to Udyr, and Riot just really put the tiniest little band-aid on him and said, uh, you're good to go. I actually looked it up on champion.gg. His play rate has gone up a little bit, and his win rate has actually gone down since this, so my particular theory is uh, Udyr players that weren't playing the champion before because he was so bad, um, we're like, you know what, let's try him out now. Maybe the five movement speed helped. And they're finding that the five movement speed did not help. So, overall, um, definitely doesn't help at all. I really wish they would rework this champion, but they're not going to because they don't know what to do with Spirit Guard or Deer. Um, but anyways, other than that, we've just got Earth balance changes and whatnot, and just some bug fixes. Um, so yes. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys uh, get a good sleep, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace out.